I think that as, as organizers, we have to keep in mind that everything that we do has to be explicitly and purposefully feminist. Um, it can't just be an afterthought because uh, unfortunately, uh, with a settler, settler colonial state, patriar patriarchy has become the norm, the quote unquote norm in this country, right? So that's why it's not just about the right wing. In fact, some of the most toxic and harmful and hurtful um, reactionary chauvinism has come from within our movements. Um, and so some like, some like really easy ways to combat that up front is to one, purposefully develop women, especially women of color as leaders. Um, women have to be in leadership roles at all levels of our organizations, all levels of our movements, all levels of our collectives. It just has to happen. Um, feminism has to be both a personal practice in our interpersonal relationships with our comrades and also a political practice built into our organizations, right? So um, it has to be stated in all your bylaws, in all of your ground rules, in all of your constitutions, um, and there has to be an accountability arm also built in along with those feminist principles. Um, and so I just wanted to like say that if we don't purposefully build this into our movements, into our organizations, we revert back to what the norm is in this country and that's patriarchy.